Now at 11, a steel worker is dead in Middletown following an accident during routine maintenance, as we understand it, at the former AK steel plant now owned by Cleveland Cliffs. That's right. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle details the company's response tonight. Cleveland Cliffs representatives tell us a labor union for machinists as well as OSHA will be investigating this deadly incident. Now we're taking a look at some of those inspection reports over the past few years that detail several accidents. A spokesperson with Cleveland Cliffs Incorporated, the owner of the Middletown Works steel operation, says the accident happened during planned maintenance of the hot strip mill. In a statement, the company said, quote, Cleveland Cliffs expresses its deepest sympathies to the employee's family, and the company will provide the necessary support to the family during this difficult time, end quote. We're taking a look at OSHA records, which detail several incidents at the plant over the past decade when the plant was owned by AK Steel. In August 2019, an employee suffered foot injuries after getting caught in a pinch point. And in April 2013, an explosion at the former AK Steel gave a worker serious burns on more than three-fourths of their body. That person would later die. OSHA records show in that case an informal settlement was reached for $5,700. We now know the facility was inspected by OSHA as recently as last week. A complaint was also filed last week, although it's not clear what the concern was. I've asked Cleveland Cliffs for a statement about that. I've also filed an open records request through OSHA to get more information about the complaint. In May of 2021, OSHA records list an incident involving an apparent fall and amputation. Cleveland Cliffs bought AK Steel in March of 2020. Once we have more information regarding those incidents, as well as the death investigation, we'll be sure to keep you updated on WCPO.com. For now, reporting in Middletown, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News. We should let you know the company has not released the name of the man killed. We're expecting that information to come from the coroner's office. Really?